probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. Okay, down these stairs. Dead. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Well, let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um... Oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. A, 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 C. Um, wait, did I do B? Do you have a pen? Start writing these down. Power up. Complete. I don't. Okay. Okay. Okay, listen. All right. New plan. Act natural. Act natural. Act nothing. Hello? Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. 
Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. 
It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds.